hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl summer and i'm back with another video so this is the part two of the part one still thank you 100 and i think 115 now so yeah 115 subscribers thank you so much i'm going to be telling you guys a story time today but before we get into the story time please subscribe to my channel if you haven't and give this video a like so let's get straight into this video so today i'm going to tell you guys my near-death experience this happened last two years yeah 2018 i was in the street when this incident happened that was the period when i was about to take a jump so i had to come home to register and all that so i came home then i think i was going to register the next day or something i can't remember i was just going some way like I was going to do something then in the public like i entered public transport downfall so now in the bus now the guy the driver like was trying to like speed off because he trailer wanted to do a u-turn so he was trying to like speed off so that he'll be like so he won't be at the back of the trailer because you know trailer guys like people that is right trailers they used to feel like are uh, the main thing in life so like he was trying to like like i don't know how i put it i was trying to be at the front of the tree line instead of being at the back so it was now speeding 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 and like the people the elderly people in the bus were like that ah, oh god will oh, calm down but we know the rush anyway not because we won't go somewhere we can't they risk our life I was telling me like you should calm down now that i'm not rushing anyway so now the guy in here was still speeding so it was not remaining like one tiny space it was remaining one tiny space so the guy just squeezed himself inside there then unfortunately there was not traffic at the front so he was still like literally beside the trailer he didn't move anyway they just it just as if they just exchanged positions so the guy was still the trailer guy was still making the u-turn as he was now as he was about to like stay in that lane because i was at the back i was at the back back by the edge as he was about to make the u-turn the the front of his very cool now I hit the bus and I was at the back so it was that side where I was sitting that I hit I can't remember like when immediately he hit it then I moved forward when I now moved forward then the glass beside me broke then one man at my one man sitting beside me she was not like that she he has seen what she was telling him since that was something happened to me what would I tell what would I tell my mom what would you guys tell me she be just sorry that you see and actually it's just story that the man said it was like sorry 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 but as i then like nothing really happened so the woman was asking me i hope hey, i'm fine i was like i'm fine i'm fine but my chest was actually pinning when that stuff happened i was like i'm fine i'm fine i'm fine so i went to do what i was doing then i came back sorry i went to do what i wanted to do then i came back then i told my mom about it you know like my mom being a mom she was like i hope you're fine i hope nothing happens to you just that my chest was just pain because I was actually gonna take pain relief. So that was it. The next day I went back to school by myself because you know I was in SS3 then and you know I was a big girl. So I went back to school by myself. The chest pain, still having the chest pain. So when I went back every day the pain kept on increasing like every single day. And then then I went to a sick bay to complain. And then he did that the shaggy gave me drugs and everything. Then like if it continues i should come back but I, I was like i kept on coming back because it was still paining me so one day i think in the night like after our night prep because there's this thing i will do like after our night prep we'll go to pray then we'll go to sleep because then when, I, when ss3 so i went to the place we gathered to pray then after praying i went to my room as i was about to drop my bag on my bed I was about to drop my bag on my bed. Then I just felt a sharp pain in my chest. I didn't even drop that bag on the bed. The bag was now on the floor. I just fell down on the floor. And if I can remember, it was like my because this is my corner. So there's like a bunk here and a bunk here. So it was my bunk mate Enola and the other bunk, the person that stays down, if Nanya. So she like my bunk mate Enola and if Nanya. Then they quickly came to like help me to get up. I could not even breathe. I was trying to breathe. I could not breathe. They rushed me to sit B and everything. 
then the nurse needs to be was saying that I should calm down to people. I couldn't even breathe. Thank God that then I I knew how to hold my breath because when I was like very young, I'm still young. When I was very very small, I used to fill a bucket with water. Then I will now put my head inside and hold my breath. So I think that was what like really helped me that time. So the nurse was trying to tell me I should calm down. I should calm down. I should calm down. And I should like take my time to breathe. So that's when um, the nurse gave me one um that inhaler that you do give asthma patients. So that's what she gave me. It's as if as I was breathing in, like my whole strength was coming out. So then I just said it in my heart. I was like, God, please, I don't want to die. Then like after a few minutes, I took a deep breath in. Then I was able to breathe out. She told me to rest for some time. Then when I wasn't resting. She was like, in fact, give me your mom's number. You're going home it's first thing tomorrow. That she's going to take a scan. So my mom came. She picked me up. Went for a scan. That same day, we went for a scan. Then the guy was like, that. see, young lady, you're fine. There's nothing there. There's no hope. Nothing, nothing is there. So my mom was like, that. So that, what is not the problem? Because I'm always complaining of chest pain. So what is the problem? That period, we're about to take our exam now. So... You know, reading in the morning, reading in the night, read overnight. Everything the stress was just so much. That's when I realized that it's only when I'm moody or stressed out that the pain will come. Like if even sometimes if it's a home with full force, like very one very sharp pain. But now I don't feel nothing. I don't feel anything. It's just when like I'm crying and I'm trying to breathe at the same time that I not feel like pain in my chest, but it's not so serious. I believe it's not so serious. Yes, it's everybody that feels this that way. So, guys, this is the end of this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. So, um, so there's something I've been wanting to tell you guys, and that is I'm taking a break of YouTube. Reasons best known to me. I think that time has come for me to just, you know, stay back and uh, relax and think very well so please be with me during this period and i promise to be back with more videos more story times and also um thank you guys i'm so grateful and i don't take your support for granted so yeah and um that's all